to do a top 10 Tuesday for you guys. The theme, the topic this week is books that you can reread forever. Now this video is not going to be a shock to anyone because I literally talk about my favorite series so much. So I'm sorry that <laughs> they're coming up again, but these are literally the series that I wouldn't say I would reread them forever, but I would re-listen to them forever. Um, I recently decided that I'm going to add a bunch of these to my re-listen docket and try to get them from Audible after I finish all the current audiobooks that I have. But I do love these series so much, and it's been a while since I re 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 reread them or re-listened to them, so they will definitely get pushed into my docket as I get there. But I do want to add some more listening time for newer books, too. So it may take me a while to finish all these series, but I will get there. The first book series is not going to be a shock to anyone. My sweatshirt is the biggest clue. It is Harry Potter. I will actually do a video about Harry Potter because I don't think I've ever really talked about it on my channel other than just say I love Harry Potter. But I found Harry Potter when I was in the fifth grade and my friend told me, oh my god, Laura, you have to read this book. And I had spent, I had, I had $10 left of my book spending money um, and I got the first book and I went home the next day, finished half the book and begged my mom for me to get the second book at the book fair even though I used all my money. She said yes and that is how I found Harry Potter. But I love this series so much. It's like, it was the series of my childhood. I listened from fifth grade to when I was a freshman in college, which is a very, very big stretch of time. And it is a joy that I don't think I can express. I think J.K. Rowling crafted one of the best fictional worlds that I've ever read. She planted stuff in book one that came to fruition in book seven. I thought she had a great cast of characters. Harry, Ron, Hermione felt like friends to me. They still do. I love Ron. He is definitely my favorite character in that series, but I just love listening to these books again. I'm in the middle of a reread where I'm rereading re re them along with the Lohar Mora podcast, and I am also was in the middle of re-listening, but just got a little bit too much to listen and reread at the same exact time, so I decided to knock off my um, re-listening for the moment. I'll talk about that in my wrap-up later in the month, why I've decided to do that. But I love this series so much. I just, I love it. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I just re I just pick my favorite Harry Potter book and I re-listen to it because it just puts a smile on my face. And I know now there's a lot of controversy around J.K. Rowling, but you know what? She's still the author that gave me Harry Potter and I'm grateful for that every day. I am still excited for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and I'm so excited to see what comes next in the wizarding world. I'm seeing Harry Potter the Cursed Child in May with my friend Sarah and my co-blogger who I'm so excited for. So I'm still a Harry Potter kid. I'm very very excited and this is one of the series that I love to reread. So there you go. Talk about is the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. So yeah, I, again, I have never talked about this specific series on my channel, but let's get into it. I think I was like my, in my third year in college and I was on like, I was going to a convention and I found, I got the first book out of my library and I fell head over heels with these books. I've never, I really always loved mythology. I love Buffy. I love Charm when I was growing up. I love fantasy stuff and I just fell for these books so fast. I read the entire series, I think, in like a year, and then I've been subsequently reading all the other series. So yeah, definitely this series specifically was so well crafted, and I think like as a reader, as like a grown adult, I learned so much from these books, like about mythology from Rick Riordan, that I was just like, oh, I want kids are gonna love this. So as a teacher, hopefully, I will hopefully one day to incorporate this specific book series in my teaching curriculum. But I really, really love this series. I've not re-listened to it for a while, so that's definitely going to be on my docket. I know that the people I'm following on the Alexa Loves Books channels, Alexa and Naki, who I've met a couple of times and they're super sweet, I think are going to be hosting a reread later in the year, which I'm definitely going to be doing. I'm going to have to get all the books <laughs> from Audible, so as the credits come up, I will definitely grab those. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really love this world. It's been a while since I re-listened to this series, to the first series. It's been like a while. I don't think I've done that for a very, very long time. So I'm actually excited to dive back into it and re-read them. So that will definitely be going along with the Alexa Love books. Um, reread that hopefully will happen eventually. But I really, really love this series and I'm just so excited to dive back into it.
does have a lot of series and they're mostly all my rereads so tuck in because it's going to be a couple of them the next series is the hero of olympus series and i think you guys did get the tail end of this because i think it i was reading them when i started booktube but i really did love this series it's definitely a grown-up middle grade version but here's a picture of the first book if you don't know what it looks like cast of characters and I was emotionally invested in everyone's journey and I love them so much again the mythology was great I think what, what Rick Riordan does so well with his characters is he introduces such complicated characters in such a dangerous world and I just love their his world building so much I love the storytelling so much again this is a series that I have not re-listened to in a while I did re-listen to it more recently than other things, but I definitely have re-listened to book one and book two in this series, but I do want to do it along with the Alexa Love Books reread eventually because I do really, really love these characters. I still have to read the rest of the books in the series, but I really do love this series as a reread. And if you really did like Percy Jackson, but you thought it was a little bit undergrade for you, this book series I think would be perfect combined and that is the Kane Chronicle series and the Magnus Chase series and the Hidden Oracle series which is the final like the other three series that Rick Riordan has wrote. I think the Kane Chronicles does not get enough love. It is his Egyptian mythology series which I think was so fascinating because I knew nothing about Egyptian mythology but coming out of that series I felt like I really had a good base understanding of it. I love the Magnus Chase series a lot. I still need to read Trip of the Dead which I swear I'm gonna reread before the summer starts because I want to Reese re read that before I read the the hidden maze one of the trials of Apollo which again is a very very funny series but you have to read these series in order because there are interconnections between all of them but I really did love all of these series so much they're so much fun to re-listen to because the narrators are just so snarky and it's just like I'm captured from the first time they say something and I just love them so much I just I cannot say enough good things about Rick Riordan, but his series are so diverse and introduce such divergent characters. There's homosexuality represented, there's diversity, there's just so many things and so many mythologies. And I love that he's starting an imprint that is giving other people, other people the opportunity to explore mythologies that they're familiar with, like Rona Chosky's doing one. I'm just so excited to read them all. And it's, he's, he's only one guy, he can only write so much, but I love that they're giving him the freedom to commission other people to write inspired by him because I think that that will be great for the middle grade world and the adult reading community as well. I've talked about on this channel is the Cinder series by Marissa Ma Storytellings, and this was the first series that really captured my heart because I love science fiction and I love fairy tales and I love this series so much. I stand by my thing that Crest is probably my favorite book in the series, but I do also really love Winter. I just love them all. This series is one I have not reread or reread re re at all, period. I, re I normally reread the first book before this, when the, the current one came out. But I do definitely want to definitely add this to my re-listen list because I would love to re-listen to these stories. Definitely want to reread Crest. That might get read first, but I just really, really love these stories. If you're looking for such a fantastical fairy tale retelling that really used the stories in such a unique way I would highly recommend this series by Marissa Ma it's a series that I'm actually currently I just finished my reread of the City of Bones series by Cassandra paranormal series that I actually really enjoy and I love books three to the end and I've just finished reading Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy I love Simon and Isabel. Those are probably my two favorite characters and Mal and, um, um, Magnus and Alec. I just love those. So I really, really love this story. It's such a deep world and I love how Cassandra Clare, along with the Infernal Devices series that I'll chat about here as well, that the, the series just interconnects so well. But you really do have to read everything that she writes. And some people don't want to give her that commitment because it is a lot to read. Um, I personally love both series. I think... The Infernal Devices series that I've talked about before has probably one of the strongest love trials I've ever read. And I'm really excited to see what happens in Lady Midnight, that series, because I haven't read those yet. That's going to be my next undertaking to read the, the physical book. But I really do love this series, and it's definitely one of my favorite paranormal series of all time. That is the Thunder Road series and the Pushing the Limits series by Katie McGarry. series that I've ever read and I just love them so much. I think Katie McGarry does such a good job of making her 
contemporary books realistic and there's never a situation like oh that would never happen because I think it everything could happen and I just love her lead so much I think I'm a little bit more partial to the Pushing the Limit series characters but I definitely do also enjoy the Thunder Road series characters and I have been re-listening to them I would I really want to reread a couple of these books and re-listen to them but those are definitely some books that I could definitely re-listen to forever so thank you guys for checking out this video. I hope you guys subscribe to all my links below because I have a couple of giveaways coming up and I've been trying to be more active on my Instagram and give you guys more consistent videos. I think since the new year I've been doing that, but I hope you guys are having a great day and let me know in the comments what are some of the book series that you think that you could reread forever. Have a nice day, guys.